What is up guys, it is Nisho here, and today we are exploring the possibilities of this new Six Samurai Fusion. Um, I, I just really wanted to talk about it after uh, seeing it, simply because of uh, exactly how much, uh, well, what I think it can do. Um, I think this card has a lot of potential. The thing is, is that it hasn't been confirmed, like it hasn't been 100% confirmed, or it requires two Six Samurai monsters with different attribute, or three Six Samurai monsters with different attributes. And um, honestly, I, I think it's uh, I think its playability will definitely matter based on the number that is required. So, I, if you haven't watched my uh, Six Samurai uh, video about uh, talking about this card, um, it's Shadow Six Samurai Rehan. It's the new fusion for Six Samurais, and uh, it's a level five, uh, 2400 both ways, uh, light warrior. It's a fusion type. The, the, the weird thing about it being a fusion is that a six samurais don't really have any infusion archetype um cards so like um they don't have their own polymerization or anything like that so it, it definitely made sense that they made it a, a contact fusion or a version of contact fusion because i don't really consider it a contact fusion because the way it works it kind of works like a link monster which i found kind of funny it's like they could have made this guy a link monster if they wanted to but instead they decided to make him a fusion a contact fusion which is kind of weird. I, I I think they were too, I think they were a little scared to make a, um, a, a link monster, uh, for six samurais this early. I think six samurais do have a lot of power, and with a link monster, they would have been able to loop it with gateway, so it definitely would have been, uh, crazy broken. So I think it's fair that it's a, a fusion monster, but since it's a fusion, I think it, it should have had easier summoning conditions. I mean, that's if it has three. If it has two, then I think this card is fine. But if it's three, then I think this card might be a problem. Now, what do I mean? So, uh, the materials required for this card is... Uh, it's it's unknown right now, but it's leaning towards three Six Samurai monsters with different attributes. Now, you're, you're thinking, it's like, three Six Samurai monsters isn't hard. But with different attributes, I think that kind of uh, changes... Um, the the way that this card's gonna be like how much this card's gonna be used because um, usually six samurais would just spam Kizan and Grandmaster just be like Kizan Kizan Grandmaster especially if we, if you have a gateway up and you know um, if you're if the original six samurai you have on a board right then and there isn't um, isn't a uh, earth type then you know if if this fusion only required two, then you would just be able to use one of your Kizans or a Grandmaster and uh, your non-Earth Six Samurai monster and uh, just contact fuse into this fusion. But if it's three, then uh, it's, it's, it's definitely gonna require a lot more setup to summon it. Now, what the fusion does, it's uh, once, it can't be used as fusion material. So, you know, you can't summon, use it to summon another copy of itself. So once per turn, you can banish uh, a six samurai card from your hand or that you control face up. So it uses it from your hand as well, um, which is definitely pretty useful. And uh, then target a card in the field and banish it. And it banishes cards, it doesn't destroy, although it does target, which targeting isn't really too bad anymore. You know, it's like before when we had Cosmos and Metaphos around, people were scared of uh, uh, to use cards that target. But now, you know, like, those decks are kind of gone. I mean, maybe Cosmos are still around a bit, but it's not, like, um, as prominent as it used to be. And, uh, so targeting cards aren't really that bad anymore. It's just, you know, your, your opponent will still have more of a chance to chain to it. You know, like, they can see the card and still use the card beforehand, you know. And, uh, since it's not a quick effect, it's only during your turn, so... You would, you'd kind of be using your own resources, you know, during your turn. You know, you can't really use it as protection or as, a, or as like, a contingency. It's more of just, okay, um, I'm just banished something because, you know, it seems like a problem card. Uh, and then his graveyard effect is that if a six samurai monster, you know, with a parentheses S, so it's more than one, you control would be destroyed by battle or by card effect, you banish this card from your graveyard instead. So, um, 
one thing I want to talk about is that uh, one of the problems with Six Samurais was that with a double-edged sword technique, it was, uh, you know, during the end phase, they had to be destroyed. And, you know, sometimes your opponent would, like, would, like uh, target it with, like, an MST or something, because, you know, we, this this deck was played a lot more, you know, before Twin Twister came out. So, you know, somebody would target it with, like, an MST or maybe, like, a Heavy Storm when Heavy Storm was still around. And you would just chain it just because, uh, you know, you want some protection for yourself. And um, what would happen is, you know, sometimes, you know, your opponent would attack into it and try to push, you know, just to make sure you don't have any monsters left. Other times, your opponent would let you keep the the, the, uh, the two monsters for a turn because at the end phase, they would be destroyed and uh, Double Edge would make you take damage equal to both of their uh, combined original attacks or the original attacks of the, of the destroyed monsters. And so... Um, with uh with with all this new six samurai support where they can stop destruction from the graveyard uh it, it's definitely more helpful because now um double edge um isn't won't won't be as much of a risk as it used to be and uh that that applies to this new fusion as well since he can also um, banish himself to protect um you know the six samurai monsters so the problem with this card, with Six Samurais, is that uh, he won't be able to... Um, he won't be able to do much during your opponent's turn, you know? And Six Samurais have always been a deck where it's like you're... you're well, for... In the Legendary Six Samurais, in, in the old days, your best field was kind of like a, a Nishi and a Shien. And uh, maybe equipped with a Spirit or something, and, you know, maybe a few back row. So you could so with Ani with Anishi you could uh, banish six samurais from your graveyard, send monsters to your opponent controls back to your hand, or back to that hand, you know, or any monster on the field actually. You could send any monster on the field back to the hand once per turn by banishing two six samurais, and that was definitely one of the most useful cards in the deck because you know getting two in a grave wouldn't be hard because of uh, the fact that you used uh, two monsters to summon out Shien, so just banish two send something back, you know, real simple. And Shien, everybody knows what Shien does, he would get a spell trap card once per turn, so you would be able to stop two of your opponent's cards. And uh, with the, even with the Exceed, you know, where he made Kageki 3,500 um, for a turn if you, if he, if him and Kageki were out, because he would make Kageki's original attack 2,000, and then Kageki's effect since you control Shadow as well, um, he would get another 1500, making him a solid 35 hitter, which could get over a lot of stuff in the game. I feel like Six Samurais um, really have so many, like, it's one of those archetypes that, uh, that have been so developed that it's just new support would kind of, like, open a new world for this deck, you know, especially support this, this decent, you know. Some people don't think that it's good. I, I think that it's fairly decent and definitely can revamp the deck. So, yeah, um, I really went <laughs> off on a tangent about, uh, this fusion, but, um, he has a lot of good uses, you know, he, he, he does solve quite a few problems for Six Samurais, and honestly, he isn't bad, you know, if you summon him, you, uh, you, you're definitely going to try to use his effect, and, uh, if he does get sent to the graveyard for some reason, uh, it's not the end of the world because he can save other six samurais after he's sent to the graveyard. So he's definitely really useful, and uh, I think making it uh, and God damn it! All right, 